Well, goodbye to you little tofu nuggets. It's not me, Carl. Welcome to Opposite Day and welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome. Hey there, hi there, ho there, kiddos. It's good to see y'all. Now today, I have something very special planned. I need your help in my super duper secret mission. A mission so secret that even speaking it can bring so much danger to myself. Do you accept this mission? Yes. Perfect. The mission is this. Get back at my boy O'Shea. Now hold on. Hear me out. Everywhere I go, there's this big dude named O'Shea, and he just likes to push my buttons. You ever have someone like that? Someone that just knows how to grind your gears? Really knows how to burn your toast? Really just mashes your taters? Well, that's this guy. That is O'Shea the Bully. And I need your help getting back at him, alright? Hey, Carl, I just got your text about uh, O'Shea. Are you, are you okay? Uh, yeah. Really? Because it sounded kind of bad. Never better. I mean, he tricked you into eating a gallon of dog hair. <laughs> That's enough, Andy. I mean, everyone saw it. Your Mama saw it. It's all over the internet. Please close your mouth. Believe it or not, it was your Mama who actually sent me the video. Enough! Come on, man. Jeez. Now, I just need to figure out what to do with my worst enemy. Oh, yeah. And speaking of that, I actually got a letter with our big idea on it, but it's missing the last word. Again? What's it say? It says, our enemies help us learn to blank. Our enemies help us to learn blank? Huh? How about our enemies help us learn to fight? I don't think so. All right, how about our enemies help us learn to conquer? King of the world! <laughs> conquer! Not quite. How about our enemies help us... Hold on, Carl. Oh, man, Andy, that was gonna be the one. I just know it. So what is it? Sorry, I was just gonna ask you if you remember what day today is. Um, yeah, it's Beans Day at the supermarket. Right, I was, wait, what day? Beans Day. <laughs> you know what Beans Day is, right? Beans Day? It's where you bring a can of beans to the supermarket and then you get a free can of beans. Beans Day! That makes no sense. You bring them a can and then they give you a can and that's counterproductive. What it makes no Okay, no, Carl, it's opposite day. And? And that means that the last word of our big idea might be the... Beans? No, not beans. Opposite. It might be the opposite. So instead of fighting or conquering our enemies, the opposite of that would be... Be Do not say beans. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, well, let's look at what the Bible says. All right, let's do it. All right, I'll be reading out of Luke chapter 6. Here we go. But to you who are listening, I say, love your enemies and do good Hold to... Hold up. Did it just say what I think it said? What? Did it just say love your enemies? Um, yeah. How does that make you feel, Carl? How does that make me feel? Are you kidding me? You ever feel a slap in the face, Andy? Um, I don't think so. I... <clears throat> Ow. Well, now you do. And that's how I felt after I read you have to love your enemies. I have to love O'Shea? Are you kidding me? Easy, Carl. We're not finished with the text. Fine, but that is not a strong start. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. And pray for those who mistreat you. You, you have to be joking me. Is this a prank? This can't be real. Let me look. So, find anything? <gasps> I can't believe this. Jesus just said that if someone slaps me on this cheek, I have to give them this one as well? This is not okay. It's like my anger tells me to do something and Jesus tells me to do the exact opposite. Huh, I guess so. See Carl, our instincts tell us to hate our enemies and to despise those who mistreat us. But God tells us to love our enemies. But why? Why do I have to do the opposite of how I feel? Well, because Jesus did it for us. Huh, well, I guess you're right. Jesus chose to love those who mistreated him and hated him. Even those who denied him were given love and forgiveness. <sighs> well, Andy, I think this is gonna be tough. It might and probably will be, but I promise you it's gonna be how you grow closer to Jesus. And it'll be how you show others that they are loved and valued as well, even if they aren't showing you love at all.
Well, hey there, kiddos. It's so good to see you all. Now, today's big idea tells us something that seems mm, very opposite of what we might want to do, but it's the right way because Jesus taught us. So let's say it in a way that's the opposite of quiet, which is loud and proud. Our big idea is our enemies help us learn to love. So on the count of three, let's yell it and wiggle our arms around. Just please make sure not to hit the person next to you, all right? <laughs> okay, here we go. One, two, three. Our enemies help us to learn to love. <laughs> Awesome job, everyone, and thanks for watching Grow TV today, and we cannot wait to see you next time, okay? Bye! Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of Grow